Hey, this is JNN Weekday News. I'm Lafayne Wigan. Here now are the top stories. A massive fire swept through the Old Fort Craft Market in Montague Bay, St. James last night. Losses have been estimated at $12 million. Everything, everything, everything is lost. Why not burn with top and spoil water? Well, I trust God. I don't know where to go from here, but I trust God. <laughs> so I guess he will make a way. The cause of the fire has not been determined. Seven shops were destroyed and five extensively damaged. The St. James Fire Department says the call came in shortly before 9 o'clock and two units responded. The vendors are hoping they will receive help to rebuild. Meanwhile, some have already started to repair the burnt-out structures. Members of Jamaica's manufacturing sector are not rescinding their position that there should be a reversal of the decision by the government to reinstate the Sugar Industry Authority, SIA, as the sole importer of refined sugar. The Jamaica Manufacturers Association, JMA, which is strongly opposed to the arrangement which takes effect next month, has intensified its lobby by seeking the intervention of members of the cabinet while warning that the new arrangement, if allowed to stand, will have negative consequences for manufacturers and consumers. The JMA has declared that the new regime for importation of refined sugar will impede the competitiveness of the manufacturing sector, lead to higher pricing, quality inconsistency and an unreliable supply. The government, on the other hand, has defended the change as a necessary measure intended to stop the leakage of revenue. There has been an increase in the number of drivers interdicted in the smarter card fraud uncovered at the Jamaica Urban Transit Company, JUTC. The figure has increased to 25, up from 15 a week ago. Head of Revenue and Franchise at the JUTC, Radcliffe Lewis, revealed that since the, the probe started two weeks ago, 65 drivers have been audited. It would suggest that probably by the time by the time we should have completed our audit, probably we won't have, it, have any drivers leave. That is how serious it is. Because 25, 60, then the, I don't know much about maths. But the, the person who knows about maths and who knows much more than I in figures will probably, will probably come to the same conclusion that I come to. Five of those interdicted have resigned and two dismissed. Disciplinary action against the others is pending following reviews on the way by the JUTC's internal disciplinary panel. Lewis has confirmed that those who have been dismissed or resigned will still be prosecuted. I know that there are going to be serious charges and I was hearing that probably one of the most serious ones is money laundering, yes, so that is how serious it is, it's, it's actually laundering money too, money, money passing from the use the company to, to pass money to the company, you know, to other places, so, you know, it's serious. The focus of the probe has been on the JUTC's Spanish town and port board depots. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, has warned that the chikungunya outbreak in the Caribbean as well as Central and South America is spreading with no sign of slowing down. Concern has also been raised that there could be local spread of the virus in the U.S. According to the CDC, the mosquito-borne disease will likely continue to infect American travelers to the region during the rest of this year and beyond. The CDC said as of November 4, more than 1,600 travelers to the Caribbean have reportedly returned to the United States with chikungunya. Before the outbreak, the annual figure was 28. The outbreak, which began last December, has caused an estimated 795,000 chikungunya cases in 37 countries and territories in the Western Hemisphere. 
in sports, Jamaica's Sunshine Girls failed to medal at the 2014 Fast Five Netball World Series in New Zealand. The Sunshine Girls, who won the bronze in 2013, finished fourth this time around after losing the bronze medal match against England by a point yesterday. England outplayed Jamaica 31-30 to finish third after the Sunshine Girls led 24-19 going into the final quarter. Earlier in the day, Jamaica had been England 27-26 but lost 35-10 to New Zealand in their final round-robbing fixture. Jamaica's net bowlers are scheduled to return home tomorrow, November 11. And those were the headlines for this hour. You can watch our live stream at jamaicanewsnetwork.com. I'm Lafine Wigan and this is JNN News Worth Watching.